so you've started playing Star Citizen 3.5. And you've got one of these. But the throttle doesn't work. I'm going to show you how to get that going. So this is not a failure or some sort of bug just from your throttle or HOTAS. Now I've got a very simple setup with a slider and a joystick, but really this is the same for a HOTAS, at least this is what I've heard. So to fix this, it's very simple. From the main menu, you go to your options, gonna go to your key bindings, and first come down here and we're gonna go to our joystick HOTAS setting and to the advanced customization controls. Move up to you find the flight movement. You want to expand the flight movement. And then come down here and scroll down to you come to the throttle forwards and back. Now I'm going to explain why some of these other things didn't work, or at least that they didn't work. But what you want to do is go to set this, move your slider to rebind it to slider one. Now it's already bound to the drive forwards and backwards, but that's for ground vehicles, this is fine. We're also gonna bind this now to our throttle for the ships. Now, oddly enough, for whatever reason, when you do this in the game, pulling the throttle back towards you makes you move forwards and pushing the throttle forwards makes you move backwards. I don't understand why. And it was really the same thing when I tried to set my throttle just to throttle forwards and I changed the up hat to that, it did the same thing. It would move the ship backwards when I push the hat forwards. Uh, so what you're also going to want to do is come to the strafe forward backwards invert. Uh, but what I've done here, you can do the same thing. Switch it to mouse and keyboard. We're going to go back to our flight movement, expand that again, but now we're under keyboard and mouse, come back down to this straight forwards invert, and I've actually bound this to the zero key. I found that this isn't really bound to anything else and it works just fine. So with that, now what's going to happen is our ship is actually gonna fly forwards and go backwards as we move the throttle forwards and back. Now, one of the things that I actually found also helpful here is that the mouse is the mouse wheel anyway is still set to the speed limiter that you'll notice that there is this little bar that goes up and down that sets the maximum speed so when i was coming into a tight landing area i still had a little bit of a problem with this in that i was constantly having to move my hand from the joystick over to the mouse and then back to the joystick to maneuver a little bit and back to the mouse. So what I've also done is I've, I've gone back to my joystick and HOTAS now. I've gone back up to my flight movement and for me, you, you can play around with different things that might work for you. I decided to also set this to my speed limiter increase and decrease. You can see that it's also set to the up and down hat. Now you might also want to take it off of the throttle forwards and backwards because, uh, you know, when you've set your hat to the speed limiter increase that we have, it'll also not only increase your speed, but want to move you forwards at the same time. So uh, you can also pretty easily set that and remove these things. Uh, and I found that I really didn't need that because if I was using the hat to set my speed limiter, I could decrease that down, get some really fine granular control with my slider or with my throttle, and I really didn't need the hat. I still have it for going left and right, that's fine, but I've decided to set it up this way because it just kept me from having to move my hand back and forth. Now I still do use the mouse wheel sometimes to set that speed limiter when I'm just casually going around, but when I was trying to land inside of a hangar like at Levski, where I really wanted that fine control, that's what I did. So hopefully you'll find this helpful. You should be able to fly your ship uh, now and be able to make it move. It took me about 20 minutes uh, initially just to get my ship to move. And I've been playing with this in the PTU now for several days, trying different settings, trying different things. Uh, I did try to just set it uh, to throttle forwards on the slider because for me, I really just like to pull my slider all the way back and have that be zero but that just didn't work. I was never able to get that really to work properly. It either wanted to move uh, 
uh, backwards all the time, or if it did move forwards, uh, moving it forwards, uh, I had to actually pull the slider back to make the ship move forwards. I could just never really get that. So this is the setting that worked correctly for me. If you do find another way, that's great. Post it in the comments below, and thank you for watching. Landing complete. Landing complete. Have a pleasant day.